the government has stepped in to reclaim the growth of Chambago University in the wake of graft investigations into the institution. The State Minister for Higher Education, John Crisesto Moyingo, this morning told the Parliamentary Committee on Education probing Chambago crisis that the government has secured a loan of 28 million US dollars worth 70 billion Uganda shillings from the African Development Bank to rehabilitate the university. And this money is intended to help Chambogo address the problems of infrastructure to support Chambogo University staff development and this is to be accommodated in next financial year's budget. Even in this budget we are having this year there is money over 620 million for staff development and research. We are encouraging our lecturers, first of all our lecturers, to take advantage of that money. The government plan to revamp Chambogo University is good news to students and staff of the university, but Muingo urges that the money is a drop in the ocean compared to the university's needs. Although it sounds much, it's not much considering the problems Chambogo University has. We've got to devise means of attracting more funding for that institution if it is to be what we want it to be. The MPs are also investigating allegations that some of the students at the university faltered admission procedures. Because we want to find out the truth and tell the world that these mistakes have been happening and it will be an eye-opener to other people who are on the way to being duped into that wrong action. That for someone to sell to you a vacancy is dipping a grave for your son or daughter. At another level, if that information ever leaks, that you, you didn't qualify to join a certain institution because you didn't have the marks required. That means all the subsequent qualification you got due to that wrong entry is null and void. Chambogo University recently reopened following a strike by university lecturers and staff. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.